I'm touching it. I'm choosing what I want to build. I'm clicking it and I'm placing it. Click, build. Click, this one, build. I hope you see how fast it is, right? I'm aiming somewhere, holding right trigger. Pa 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 pa. That's how it climbs without compensation. This window, gyro, a little bit of thumb, gyro again. This compensation is too much for the gun which you are using. Just go inside and choose 15 pixels to like, I don't know, 5 pixels. Today I would like to show you a quick Battle Beat Remastered custom layout featuring two things. First thing is compensating for the recoil. And second thing would be quickly build walls with a single click. I made up a custom control scheme and I'm gonna show it to you right now. For now it's Ganj Battle Build version 5 recoil insta build. You go inside and you will see that the description is also one click to build anything and it's also recoil mitigation using gyro and trackpad. It's quite complicated in general and the details you can go into the details and see it for yourself. Basically, of course, it's a PC layout using Gyro. I'm using D-pad for most of the items. One, two, three, four. Pistol, weapon, gadget, gadget. First, let's talk about recoil assist. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm making an additional layer, which when left trigger is pressed, when I'm aiming down the iron sights, the right trigger on a full pull, it moves mouse cursor and it moves it so it repeats it when I hold it. And every 10 milliseconds, it moves, let's see, move by amount. I'm moving it down 15 pixels. And when I'm doing so, left trigger to aim, right trigger to shoot. Cursor, the scope itself, it's being moved down like this. You'll see it later. Second part is that I have the virtual menu for building. Here it's called build menu and I just assign it to the left trackpad here. You can see left trackpad, main set. If we go to edit it, as you can see here, I try to find icons which are the most self-explanatory. So this one is to build a cube. This is to build a lower wall. This is to build a big wall. This is transparent wall, so to say, to build a wall with a shooting holes in them. The final button is to build a giant pillar. So as soon as they touch it, the O key is being pressed. And O key by default is the key for leadership commands, I think. So later it moves cursor. Then 25 seconds later, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 50, 50 milliseconds later, cursor is being moved to click one of the four items. And then it clicks it. And after it clicks it, I will have a choice to click one of those buttons and move cursor accordingly and choose what I, whatever I want to build. So let me just show it to you in game. Recently I'm running with M249 and let me choose the scope for example ACOG and I will not even put any adjustments on the barrel here. As you remember the way that I made my recoil to work is when I'm holding left trigger and then if I'm just soft clicking it, if it's not a full pull, but if it's a partial pull, soft pull, then nothing happens. But as soon as I'm full pulling it, look what happens. You see, it's like 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels. It goes down. So once again, I'm aiming somewhere, holding right trigger, pa 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 and automatic 10 pixels. Uh, or 15 p pixels per every 10 milliseconds, basically. That's what happens. With a pistol, as you can see, it looks quite stupid and doesn't make much sense. When I'm using my M419, actually, yeah, that's how it climbs without compensation. And of course, I can compensate it the same way with gyro and whatnot, but it's just way less precise, especially when using like 4X scope or something. Right now, I will not use gyro at all. And you can see that it climbs, but it climbs way slower than it climbs without such tweak. And now you can see that it's slowly going down, right? I'm not moving it, I'm just keep holding my right trigger 
I ran out of ammo already, so the recoil is not happening. So of course I could do it with the right touch pad compensation. Same way, putting my thumb down. As you can see, I'm putting my thumb down. Or instead I could use gyro by pointing down. It also works just fine. This window, gyro, a little bit of thumb, gyro again. Let me show you how to get rid of it. If you don't want to use it at all, you go to Edit Layout, Recoil Assist Layer. In Recoil Assist Layer, you go to Triggers, you go to Right Trigger, and here, this mouse cursor relative, just get rid of it completely, if you don't want it. If this compensation is too much for the gun which you are using, just go inside and choose 15 pixels to like, I don't know, 5 pixels, 10 pixels, 3 pixels, whatever you want. Myself, I'm running mostly this LMG, this box here. Compensating, compensating, compensating. And you just cannot... You wouldn't believe me, unless you try to play it on Steam Deck yourself, how much this LMG climbs up. Like, it climbs up really fast. But with this built-in compensation, it becomes even controllable. Like, left window, okay, down window, here, middle, left window, top middle window, right window, and all the time I'm putting fire to wherever I want to put it. Play it out. Okay, let's go. Yeah, that far away one is kind of harder to get. But that's enough for me and I enjoy it. And now from recoil compensation off to a build menu. Left touchpad. I'm tapping it. I'm choosing what I want to build. I'm clicking it. And I'm placing it. Once again. I'm touching it, I'm choosing what I want to build, I'm clicking it, and I'm placing it. Click, build. Click, this one, build. I hope you see how fast it is, right? What it imitates is, let me show you what it imitates actually. It imitates that I'm pressing O first, then after I pressed O, I have to choose this top left icon here, right? You see it. Right click. Then I gotta choose what exactly I wanna build. And then I right click. This one, for example. And then I can place it. So what I did, once again, instead, I just one tap it here, and it already goes into this choosing menu. And then, as soon as I decide what I wanna build, I click it. And unfortunately, as you can see, I don't have enough points right now, so what do I do? I just click escape, which is this button. What is it? Start, I guess. I click it, and I keep playing. I'm running, right? I'm seeing enemy right there, and I want to protect myself. I'm falling down, I'm clicking it, and I'm placing it. Boom. How fast is that? I would argue that sometimes it probably is even faster than on PC. I touch it, I tap it, place. So yeah, that's it. Other things on my layout is ping by tap here, so I'm tapping. Then if I need to heal myself, I'm just using long hold on L5 button, as you can see. Or if I single click it, I can go out of the corner. L5, R5 are Q and E for me, but at the same time, apart from being Q and E, it's also these other buttons, for example, use bandage if I'm holding it. L4 is to sit down, and if I'm holding it, it's sprint. And R4 is jump button, B button, set as mouth, mouse wheel up, if I need to run and switch the scope, for example. But at the same time, I also have a D-pad acting as a mouse wheel, should I need a mouse wheel, for whatever reason. So usually, if I'm just running, and I urgently need to switch the scope, I'm aiming, and then switching it like this. I'm really happy with both recoil mitigation thing and build menu, so I hope it helps. I hope you guys will be enjoying this game even more because these devs definitely pulled off a miracle here and created one of the most enjoyable Battlefield-like games. Enjoy! Happy gaming! Bye-bye! And some people might say that it's just not fair to use this recoil mitigation hacks and whatnot as long as it doesn't give me a cutting-edge benefit over other people as long as I'm not ruining their gameplay, I definitely feel that I have the freedom to enjoy it the way I want without harming 
anyone else has experienced here. So yeah, here's that. And with regards to recoil or even this automation of building sections, just feel free not to use it if you don't like it. But I would say probably don't stop other people from enjoying their games the way they want to. Once again, I'm not hacking this game. I'm not insta-killing anyone from another side of the map. I'm not wall hacking. I'm just using the tools I'm provided with by the developers themselves, so I don't see why not. Thank you guys, have a good one.